you know about the history of the uh, UCLA Stanford rivalry? Uh, I don't really know much about it. You know, I'm from over on the east, the east side, east coast, so I'm not too much familiar with it. Okay, so you didn't know that Stanford had won 11 games in a row in the series? No, sir, I did it. Okay. Hearing yeah. that though, does that make you want to want to end that streak? Yes, sir. For sure. It for sure makes uh it makes us all hungry. The whole team, you know, uh, day by day, we've been preparing, get ready for them each week. So, and then with that, with us knowing that, or with me knowing that now, you know, it just brings more sparks for, uh, for all of us. What, what's it going to take for the secondary to kind of put it together? Uh, it's just going to take us going day by day, each day, uh, one day at a time, just practicing, executing, and getting everything, getting the game plan together, and just going hard every day at practice, and then executing on Saturdays. Have you seen? Improvement at all? Uh, yes, we all of us, the whole team. We just uh, we all listen to the coaches, what they got to say. Uh, we take in every uh, inf bit of information they give us, and uh, we apply it on the field of practice, and apply it the best we can on Saturdays and Thursdays. How close do you think you are as a team to being where you guys want to be? Uh, super close, super close. This, we, we we literally just one play away, or one one, one drive away anything for right now just you know being where we want to be at how do you get to uh same thing i've been saying just day by day one by one one day at a time we just keep working until until uh, till we execute till the, till the execution come out right is there any changes to the scheme or is it more that um, individual players need to need to execute better uh i think Really and truly, it's just more of all of us. All of us just need to uh, keep going every day, keep going hard and listening, uh, keep working hard, keep uh, keep executing. Well, she's been here as long as anybody. How much do you want to end this uh, Stanford winning streak over UCLA? Oh, yeah, definitely just want to get the W. Um, just one game at a time, taking one game at a time. and uh, Just like a 0-0 record type of mentality, um, just next week. So uh, just excited just to go back home, uh, play Stanford, and just to get this W. So. Do you know last time UCLA had speak for Stanford, what year it was? Man, I, I just know that I, I haven't beaten Stanford yet, so <laughs> just want to yeah, get this this last W before I get up out of here. <laughs> What's it going to take uh, for the offense to jam on a more consistent basis? Uh, I think just everybody doing their job, just like uh, coming back down, like it all comes down to fundamentals again. Um, just everybody, just basically just doing their job and doing their job as best they could. So. How's your guys' spirit and in practice this week? Uh, it's been good. Everybody, no head hanging, no nothing. Um, everybody's just come out, uh, just work. So uh, can't really dwell on the last week, uh, but everybody's been working so far this week. So. Excited to did that, see. Did that buy come at a good time for you guys? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. I think it was a pretty good, uh, just a good week to get our bodies right, uh, hone like different techniques and stuff during that week. So, a uh, pretty good week overall. How's the quarterback situation going? Right now? That's going good. Uh, both quarterbacks uh, just comfortable with both of them. Whoever's playing, uh, I know. I just know I'm comfortable with both quarterbacks. Know they will get the job done. So. What's your impression on the uh, two young guys on the offensive line helping out? I think they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, as a whole unit, we just need to pick it up. But uh, as far as them to go and uh, just everybody progressing throughout the year, uh, I feel like they're progressing pretty well. So, yeah. Great, thanks, Bob. Thank you.